for those of us who are caregivers, who are physicians, we know we hold the stories of our patients. We have a very strong voice, and when we do talk to our politicians, they stop and listen. And a very short story, um, so when the cuts occurred in Quebec, and they made no sense, I was uh, uh, invited by colleagues who were much more adamant than I was to go to Quebec, to the, uh, to, to, to the National Assembly in Quebec, and to be there when the cuts would be formally announced. I had never been in the National Assembly. I had walked around. It was a nice building. At the end, I, I mustered all the courage I had and went and shook hands with the minister who was just making that decision on behalf of her government and told her in the eyes, you know, the cuts that you're making are not administrative cuts. They will have consequences. And I think the minister didn't expect <laughs> such a direct uh, interaction. I didn't expect it either. Um, and she, she listened to me. She tried to prompt me. She was a bit defensive, but I suspect that she remembers that meeting. So I would urge us as patients, as citizens, as caregivers to be, um, to, 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 to carry the voices, the stories of our patients to the candidates. And it doesn't mean necessarily to go and party events, but at least when the candidates will come coming knocking at our doors, there's no point in being silent. That's the time 